This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. It has definitely not been just any day in arena. We have been killing it and getting killed by it in the Zendikar Rising Early Access Streamer Showdown event, hashtag sponsored Wizards of the Coast. And I recorded some games to put on YouTube. I had to silence the Twitch chat, turn off the alerts so that the gameplay wouldn't be interrupted. And Twitch chat is quite ornery right now. They're um they're saying very mean things. They're they're waving weapons. They're using caps lock in very aggressive fashion. Uh but we are having a very, very excellent stream and the the deck I've been playing for about, well, well over an hour now. I've been trying to get Omnath uh, to be the best Omnath can be. And there's a few different versions in the games that I'm going to show you. I started out with a version that tried to win with the Fling Land and Beanstalk Giant. So there's now a Fling, and it's really hard to remember what the names of these cards are. But it's a, it's a land, and on the backside it's a three-mana Fling, right? So I was trying to use that with Beanstalk Giant as the kill, and that was okay. Like, that was pretty fine. And then I realized I was just putting that many lands on the battlefield. What if we just had Crab? Like, what if we just had Ruin Crab? So you're going to see me switch over to cutting the Beanstalk Fling Land stuff and getting into four copies of Ruin Crab and just trying to cast Genesis Ultimatum, cast Escape to the Wilds, cast Roiling Regrowth, cast Cultivate, just put, a, use Uro, just put a million lands on the battlefield and mill them out with the crab. Fortunately, turns out most people are too salty to see this deck win. It's, it's an endurance test that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy because the, the turns where you're making mana with Cobra and you're putting so many things onto the battlefield, and you're casting Escape to the Wilds. There are a million decisions to make. Making them right does matter. But it takes forever to find the right line, and to count the right mana, and to make the right colors, and to play the right land, and to fetch the right thing at the right time. And it's all in one turn, so it's... I, I'm not kidding. Your turn four, or turn five, could take 30 minutes with this deck. I'm not kidding. Um, and that's what Omnath Locus of Creation is bringing to us. So if you thought Uro made you groan, just wait till you see what happens when we take turns with Omnath Locus of Creation, Escape to the Wilds, Genesis Ultimatum, and this ridiculous pile. So the card choices, I don't know if this is right. It's prob there's probably a better way to pull the win condition. Maybe we'll figure it out today. But in order to get a video of this up on the YouTube for all of you, because it is that insane, you have to see this. Um, we're just gonna pull some, some videos here and let them fly. And I think you're gonna like it. So no outro. If you watch this much of the intro, you are already cool. I'm just going to record one file so I can get this sent to the editor as fast as possible. But I want to say thank you to Wizards of the Coast for inviting me to the Early Access event and sponsoring it. Thank you to Cool Stuff Inc. for sponsoring my stream. And thank you to all of you, the viewers who made this happen. We had almost, I'm going to have to check the number, I think we went over 2,300 live viewers at one point. Absolutely legendary. Thank you guys for all that you've done for me. Sincerely, I'm going to go back to being kind of evil and uh, whatever the character is that you guys want to call me. Um, but the thanks is real. So thank you so much. And let's dive in. Let Omnath's epic nonsense begin. On the draw, if this were on the play, I would be rolling. But on the draw, I'm kind of scared and we're up against Ali Eldrazi, who has probably already built the perfect version of Lotus Cobra Nonsense. But let's put it to the test. Turn to Lotus Cobra. Do it. Yep. Yep. I see you. I see you, gamer. I see you. Absolutely not right now. On guard. Look at this hand. 
No! You monster! He's probably saying the same thing about me. Oh, that was ouch. All right. Got the cultivate. The question now is, are we going to get right up to Silky Smooth Ultimate Mana? That's the question. Backup Snake. We're actually out of land drops here. We're going to need to top deck a land. Which our deck should be able to do. Shuffler is so fine right now. <laughs> Ollie, you force spiked me, dude. I guess the force spike's pretty good against landfall cards. You don't play your land first. You just don't do it. Land off the top, baby. Not the right land for casting ultimatum, but it will help us with this escape to the wilds. Play around the force spike. Okay. I can have three mana. I can put an escape back in my hand. That's okay. Hiya! Man, it's just so scary, man. Like every turn with this deck and against this deck, you feel like it's about to go off. You feel like it's just about to explode. Every step of the way. So we need a way to get another land into bet onto play this turn. Omnath isn't going to make mana unless we get another land onto the battlefield. We don't have the means. Now, I can Genesis Ultimatum instead. Which I think I'm just supposed to do. Because then we can probably play Omnath afterwards. Red, red. Blue, 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 blue. Fire one. These look okay. Not bad. Not bad cards. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here we freaking go. All right. Blue. 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 Green. Let's see. I can't play that as a land, can I? If I can... Nope. All right. I guess Omnath, and then miss the rest of the turn, and just be ready for next turn. I mean, it'll make for a sweet next turn. That's okay. Don't sweep the board on me, Ollie. Don't you do it. Don't do me dirty. <laughs> Don't do me dirty, Ollie. <gasps> this is a Cool Stuff Inc. showdown, by the way. Ali Eldrazi makes content for CoolStuffInc.com on YouTube. You can check out that channel. There should be a link to it under my recommended channels. We're both sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. So thank you very much for supporting our channels. My promo code is CGB5. I am sure Ali also has a promo code. You should use mine because you're watching my video. But if for some reason you don't want to use mine, because maybe you find my smug, punchable face too much. You can use his. Fourth Genesis Ultimatum. <laughs> um, let's go. Let's do the thing. I don't know what's happening anymore! I don't know what's happening at all. Green, green, blue, 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 red, red for Genesis Ultimatum. And then some bonus. Well, just some bonus to spread around for later, you know? Just a little bit of extra. <laughs> Ollie's also a super sport, um, letting me play it out like this. All right, keep new Omnath because it gets to see all these triggers again. <laughs> My god, what is happening? I don't know anymore. 
I said that before. I still don't know. Actually un uncertain. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's totally fine. <laughs> End it. End it quickly. <laughs> All right, full control. I just want I want a chance to just fling it here with all this stuff on the stack so it ends it ends it fast for him. Let it be over. Let it be over. Thank you. Thank you, Ollie. Thank you for letting me do the thing. I owe you one, brother. I owe you one. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that is a slow hand with awkward mana. How lucky can one guy get? <laughs> okay, okay. Bone Crusher, you are going to get us to Genesis Ultimatum. I can tell. I can just tell. <laughs> Bone Crusher's got this. Says, don't worry about a thing. Don't worry about a freaking thing, dude. Wind Robber. Soaring Thought Thief. Ugh. Let the milling begin. Bone Crusher not looking so good against the Thought Thief. Oh my gosh, look what they milled. Look what they milled! This ain't right, man. I'd like to file a protest. Let's just get that out of the way. Okay, that's better, but I thought they didn't have that because they played this first. Maybe they had to draw the land. Um, yeah, this one's a lost cause. I don't think this is going to be a particularly close game. There's Uro. We get to put to test that theory that Uro is, like, broken against these decks. So we'll find out. All right, stomp this yard. Let's play the tap land. Next turn, get back Uro. Blue, blue, green, green. Wrecked. I mean, just wrecked, guys. Just, like, we're, like, what are we going to do? What's Uro supposed to do? Uro can't do nothing. Uro's got nothing on this. Especially if Drown in the Lock is the last card, right? All right. I do love rogues, I gotta tell ya. Sweet rogue deck on the way. Sweet rogue deck on the way. All right, no drown in the lock. Uro resolved. And Uro it got bounced, okay. So, keep ramping up. Maybe the deck needs a Storm's Wrath. This would have been a sweet card to draw too, the Smashing. Down to five. And a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen is all we're facing. Still a turn short. All right. You, this. We get one block. I think it's exactly lethal. Ooh, Omnath. That's not good enough, though, because we can't hit another land drop. Yeah, I think it's exactly lethal. And as you can see, I didn't even come close to exiling enough cards from my graveyard for Uro to pull this off. Yeah, because it's a 5-1 because of the two Soaring Thought Thieves. Yeah, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Exactly. Like, I mean, you saw there, we, we pulled Uro out of the graveyard on turn 4. It didn't matter. It did not matter. The deck mills so fast and puts up so much damage. You, like, we Uroed into double Uro. Did not matter at all. Crazy, right? Crab. 
We need to draw green. We'll see if we can do it. Did it! Check that one off today's list. Things don't look great though. Had a hard time against against this deck with anything millish. We might have to get into Yorian mode just because of how much mill we're seeing. Or I have to pull out the good old 250 stack. Two mana open. Might be a drown in the lock. Let's find out. Mill you. Soaring Thought Thief. All right, curve is looking good. Curve is looking good for our opponent. Yep, hit my arrow. <laughs> they have to drop a nice for that. Pretty funny. Pretty funny. Go ahead, scry to the top, I dare ya. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. We play the green, so we have a chance at Uro next turn. And we pass the turn and figure out if we're going to borrow or what. Opponent with that tap land, it might really hurt him. They have a lot of double black. This looks like merchant's list of rogues. Why does this thing have to have three toughness? It's like the only thing in the format that Bone Crusher just can't deal with. What do you guys think? What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to Bone Crush the Wind Robber or Bounce the Thief? They showed us a Slither Wisp, and they run Thieves Guild Enforcer. I mean, both are kind of rough, right? Either way, it's only one trigger. We should let this attack commence and then figure it out. It's not that much damage. I think we just bone crush this. We definitely want to save the Brazen in case they do a Zerasan thing next turn. Although, they would have gone for that this turn if they could. What a staring match. What the heck, man? Alright. Stomps. Stomps. Rock 'em. Sock 'em robots. Alright, green off the top and we Uro. The opponent's gotta be thinking about that. That would be a pretty big play, but we do need the untapped green. Ooh, take three, go. Okay. Seems like a counter. Am I supposed to run Omnath into a counter? I could hold up Brazen Borrower for a Zerasan. I feel like I have to try to get the Omnath down. I can't just do nothing. This is a really tough decision. We also keep progressing towards our uh, finishing move of Ultimatum into Crabs. Because like we can go for Escape to the Wilds next turn, maybe? Try to find another green source, make Uro an option? Yeah. Easy Lofty Denial. That's, an, that's a frustrating one. All right, green source, no green source. So I think it's time to hold up Brazen B. Maybe threaten to trade with this Thought Thief. Could also run out the giant, but damage I don't think is gonna do it. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think playing this actually does anything. I'm going to hold up Brazen B. Hmm, <laughs> just kidding. I don't know what your deal is. Go away. I don't know you! Okay. Cool. By the way, they took away my Your Go. My only option now is hello. Which to me is not an option. If you know me. If you know CGB. We don't we don't play like that. The sportsmanship sportsmanship? It's for wimps. Wimps, I tell ya. Ten mil another. Still holding this up for like a, a trickster or something larger. That's the thing. That's the thing we're holding it up for. You done? Cool. Go away. Shoo. You're too large. You're too large. Nobody wants to play with you. Yes. Back to the hand with you. Green source. Uh, is it Uro time or are we supposed to be escaping here? I think if we escape next turn, we can escape and play Brazen Borrower, which is better. So for me, it's a row time. Opponent at 33. Still a long ways to go. We can also play a, a giant this turn. That might put enough pressure on our opponent. Let's uh, play this because it's better for ultimatum mana. Oh, we can hold up Brazen now. If we want to trade. Do we want to trade or do we want to go aggro? Oh, there's going to be a scavenger. I'd rather trade with the scavenger. Let's play the giant now. By the way, seven cards in the graveyard now. Although, they're, they, they get the damage back when they attack because of the trigger. Take three. Okay. Okay. Close game, close game. New Uro. Four damage, nine to 14. 32 cards in our deck, 26 in the opponent's. Come on, draw the Genesis ultimatum, win by a crab. Let's go. Come on, please. It's the only way. It's how a true warrior would win this game. If Jake and Joel are magic, and if there are in fact two of them playing right now, good. It's going to take at least two of them to take out the one in best of one. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, am I gonna hit the lands? If there's a land on top of my deck that I hit with this Uro, this card is really good. If there isn't, it's not great. Actually not great. But at least we gain four life and we get another card. Well, we get two cards. We get a card with Uro and we get a card with Omnath. I think we go for it. I think we go for it. Let's see if the opponent has the counter here. They only have two cards left. One of them is drowning the freaking lock. Grrr. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. All right. That's not a land. Needed that to be a land, and it failed. I think we play this now to get around Lofty Denial. Drown, 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 drown. All four drowns are gone. There's only one Lofty Denial, though. So let's play it now. What you got? 
We're still looking at 10 damage, not 12, but the life gain from this means we probably can't counterattack them for lethal. Okay. Must be nice. Two. They still take 10. There's still 10 damage here, guys. So they must have drawn something. Let's start here. Hella close game. What are they gonna do? They decided to get aggressive with one of these borrowers. They're drawing. They're drawing a card. That smells desperate. That smells desperate. Come on. Time to make your play. Did you just leave yourself dead? Are you just Uro dead? Genesis Ultimatum! Well, it's a block. <laughs> you even know I have it. It's revealed. You even know I have it. Get out of here. Get right out of here. Both of you. Both of you. Down. Out of here. <laughs> Ruined it. Good game, good, you know, good game though, good game. Close. Ooh, Cobra Omnath. Ooh, there's a chance. We need an untapped land. Need an untapped land and we can do it. Do you hear the, you hear like the frogs and crickets and stuff? I don't know if I have the sound up loud enough for you to hear it but I hear it. I hear frogs and crickets. Okay, just, yep, play your rogue. <laughs> yep, good choice. Oh my goodness. Okay, didn't have the turn two rogue lord, that's something. Taking it a little slower, so what do we do? Do we slow roll the Cobra? Do we make them have the answer to the Cobra? There's two cards in the graveyard, so they can already counter it. I think we just, I think we bone crush here. I'm, I'm definitely over, and I mean, I am over uh, emotes now. <laughs> now that, now that I've lost my now that I've lost your go, it took it away. It's just a tragedy. A tr true, true tragedy, you guys. All right, so in response, take out the Enforcer so that the mill trigger doesn't happen. Let's do one Cultivate now, set up for the future. Blue, and we can fetch the white with the Passage, but we don't want to. We want to play the Omnath first. So we're going to go up to four cards in Graveyard, which means Drown in the Lock does counter the Omnath. So how do we want to play this? We might want to slow roll the Omnath even more. We've got to get the opponent to commit to something. Oh, they committed. Wow. Okay. So we can have five mana this turn, so we can play a Cobra and a Giant. 
It's pretty good. We can also play a Cobra, play a Passage, play an Omnath, crack the Passage. That gets one Landfall trigger. Then we have one mana. So that doesn't go off with Omnath, because we need two mana for Omnath to go off. I think the right play is to get two threats down. Two things that the opponent has to deal with, or try to deal with. This way, if we draw a crab, we have a blue in the mana pool. All right, no crab. So, is this ultimatum thing going to happen? Drown in the lock, down goes Omnath. Six cards in graveyard. Ouch, this has menace, can't block it. Seven cards in graveyard. Bone Daddy off the top. If we play Fable Passage, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can ultimate him this turn, but I think we can also Omnath and ultimate him. So if we play this, then play this, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But one of them's a white. So I don't know if we can actually do that, but we're going to at least try while the blue mana is tapped. I am still very much figuring out how the heck this frickin' the way that these cards work together, which is absolutely nutty to me. Let's see what we can do with all this mana. Go we'll get red. Alright, well we're gonna have seven. Wait. Red, green, blue, ultimatum. Ultimatum! We ultimatum! We, like, ultimatumed, people. Okay, keep new Omnath. Because it can make new mana. Oh, feel it. Feel the sensation. It's happening. It's so happening right now. Now, we do have to draw into something. Like, we have a lot of mana without too much to do with it. Opponent poking around the graveyard like, yeah, okay, that's, that's a lot. It's <laughs> a lot, lot, lot of mana you got there going on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Can we get back the Uro? We can. Disgusting. Okay, we should get we should try to get rid of a type, right? We should get like because of the um that one rogue. We should get try to get right rid of all the lands and all the sorceries because of the Nighthawk Scavenger. <laughs> oh my lord, what is happening? I, that's all I say when I play this deck. What is happening? I, I can't... I can never quite figure it out. <laughs> There's our draw five. The crabs. It's Mr. Krabs. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to beat you to death. We're, we're coming after your deck. That's that's the kind of mania that we are. That's that's what we do here. We don't we don't go easy. We go right after the deck itself. We're kind of insane that way. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is happening? <laughs> oh wow. Um <laughs> Who knows where this road would lead from there? I I can't even tell you. <laughs> We're playing against Ash Lizzle, also known as Shield Maiden, former number one mythic, great at sacrifice. 
great at aggro strategies, and we're on the draw. So we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Ooh, speaker. Okay, speaker of the heavens. Away we go. Is it clerics? It must... No, no, it couldn't be blue-red clerics. You're welcome. You are welcome, everyone. Tap land, attack, go. All right. I think we bone crush here. The next turn we cobra bone crush. I think that's better. Just to make sure we get value from our cobra in case she has a blood chief's thirst. What you got? Wrecked. Um, yeah, I guess I could have done that on my turn. Got wrecked a little bit. Do we want to bone crush this? If there's another village rights, but there might also be a 5-5. Five five. I think we hold. Hold it for next turn. Ooh, Tabarax might be a good bone crush target. Another vessel. Okay. All right. Away we go. I think we can Omnath here. No, it's one, two, three mana. Then we can regrowth, which is two mana. Okay. That does all the things. Here we go missing land drops again, or at least regular land drops. Whew! We didn't get the white source, so we need to draw land to play the Omnath, so that might have been a mistake. We'll see if we get punished for it. So many things to keep in mind. And to remember which Triome does what. So easy to forget which Triome makes white and which one doesn't. They look so similar. All right, Luris is here. Speaker is back. She's on 24 life with a lot of lifelink. So angels are on deck, and we're going to miss the land drop. That is... That is such a tilt. I can't even, man. <laughs> I can't even believe how many times I've missed land drops playing this deck. It's over half land. Mm-hmm. Yep, can't really block here. Can't really do anything. Now let's see if she has anything to remove the Cobra. I think it would have been dead already if that were the case. Null Priest, yep. Make an Angel, yep. Alright, Cultivate. You have to carry the whole freaking game. Blue, green. Green out of the battlefield, blue into hand. Make a white, play the land, make a red, play the Omnath, hope we get another turn. I'm not convinced we will. So that's eight. You got it. Gonna have to go off really hard for this to work. Uh-huh. Another angel. Oh, man. That's a card. <laughs> this card plays magic. This card plays magic.
And away we go. All right, so this Omnath fully triggered, so we need a new one. Because this one will make new mana. I think we want to hold off on the crabs. If we play this, we get life and a land. That's pretty strong. And it can play escape. How far can we go? How long can a turn possibly last? <laughs> let's let's get the crabs cooking. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is absolutely stupid. How many basics left? Three basics left. That's going to be key. How many basics left is going to be key. Good game. Oh, <laughs> can't go any further. I don't even blame her. I don't blame her. <laughs> it just takes so long to do all the things. It just takes so long. You can lose so much of your event playing against this deck. I don't blame you. I do not blame you a bit. <laughs> Crab hand. Crab hand, everybody. Crab hand. Crab hand. But do we play crab or do we play a land because we might need a bone crusher? Let's face it. Let's face it. We should play this now because then next turn we might still be able to go crab land. But this way, yep, 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 yep. We get to bone crush the freaking cobra. Get out of here, cobra. None of that. We we know what a we know what the cobra can do. We are aware. <laughs> we know all about these cobra. All right, I think we cultivate here because then we can set up Omnath for mana next turn. We'll put the white onto the field, and um, I don't think it matters much what's in our hand. But I'll take a. I guess the green is best. I'm looking at the lands we have available, and I think it's green. So next turn we can do five with the passage. If we draw an escape to the wilds, it's good. Uro, Uro. Oh man, we're gonna fill their graveyard for their Uro guys. What, whatever shall we do? Sultai. I don't think this is going to live. Getting the five mana off it could play the Bone Crusher Giant. And the Crab. If it's not going to live, I guess that's fine. Uro. Actually, now we get to play the Uro, which is pretty nice. Here's Krabby. The opponent's going to want to name even on an extinction event, so playing some odds is a good idea. All right, there's one mana floating. I don't have a way to use another. This gain, this doesn't gain mana because we don't have the Cobra, so we play the Trium. And you mill. All right. 
Cool. Good turn. I feel accomplished. I feel accomplished. <laughs> uh oh. We fighting. We got a fighter. Do you want to fight the crab or the Omnath? Oh my gosh, there's actually a decision here from the opponent. <gasps> the crab! They picked the crab! She, they picked the crab! Mr. Krabs? What? I, they must have lost some nasty games to a mill deck, is all I can think. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that. Make the mana. I mean, they're, you're going to learn about Omnath. You're going to learn really fast about Omnath, okay? Oh my goodness. What is this? What is this? <laughs> okay, how many cards is this? How many cards is this? We got we to gotta figure this out. So, one land got put onto the battlefield, right? I'm trying to see the triggers. Okay, there are two Ruin Crab Triggers, so that's six. There's two Uros, so that's 12, 18 minimum. And we still are going to get, we're going to make a bunch, bunch of mana. We're going to draw two cards from the Uros. The Uros are going to go to the graveyard, and we get back another one. So even if we draw land, we do like 24. Oh my gosh.